feel like a headache and a little bit sick. Maybe I drank a little too much red wine. <laughs> no, there is no such thing as too much red wine. <laughs> I had a terrible dream that I was an artist who sold out and then fought back to get my integrity again, only to end up in a tower all alone to paint for the spoiled rich nobility. Huh? That would be awful. Wait a minute. What is this? No. No, 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 no. <gasps> it was not a dream. I really am here. I am in my tower all alone. No! <laughs> Why? <sighs> Why? Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Draw with French Jazza. I am French Jazza here for the thank goodness finale to the Passepartout series. I say thank goodness not because I am sick of the game. I love this game. I am sick of torturing you with my terrible fake French accent. But I am nothing if not obnoxious but consistent. That's very good wine. Now in the last episode I uh, sold out just a little bit, but I came back, right? But uh, I put it to a vote. Is it too late for an artist like me to live with integrity? 96%! <laughs> Majority wins, it is not too late for integrity. And so ladies and gentlemen, we continue our journey to out art. Passepartout. And we begin by depicting our tower. It is a bright beginning, for integrity is not yet dead. Ooh, uh, this is a very uh, nice uh, sunset gradient, no? Here in this tower, all alone, I will still, in my solitude, create pieces that will carry on after me. Art will be created that will stand the true test of time. Look at this detail! I call this piece Jazza. Jazza. Let down your integrity! You get it? Because it's uh, like Rapunzel. You let down your... Never mind. Uh, is there room for another artwork on this wall or is it just uh, this one? Welcome to my tower! I spent a long time on this one. Uh, not interested? Okay. Uh, Let's try another one. Perhaps I will paint a self-portrait. Untenable, Catherine. Criticism hits a little bit harder when you have very limited patrons. Though I am stuck in this tower alone with pompous rich nobility, I will not be broken. This uh, self-portrait is a reflection of my identity. I will teach the world what true art is. There we go. Oh no! There is only room for one painting? Oh, this is going to be true torture. All right, you don't like the one on the wall. I will get rid of it. <sighs> there you go. It's in the bin. Are you happy? <laughs> this is my self-portrait. I hope you like it. I call it unbreakable. I will just uh, stand by the door and wait for my patron to show up. Oh, what do you think of my... Untenable. Hmm. I can tell this is going to be an interesting career. This is a disconcerting beginning to my lonely venture. You don't like me? I throw me in the bin. Let me teach you nobility a thing or two about love. Here we have uh, the rainbow of love. And here we have love emanating from this rainbow. Oh, it's Benjamin! I'm not alone, Benjamin! I, uh, I, am s I still have integrity. Look, uh, where did you go? I did not know Benjamin had access to this tower. Benjamin is a very well-traveled man. There we go. I call this painting at the end of the rainbow. Oh, triumphant! Thank you, Victoria. Turns out you're very much into our rainbows. Let's give you another rainbow. All right, Victoria. Well, uh, you're going to love my next piece. This will uh, be a piece uh, the likes of which you have never seen before. A double rainbow. Double rainbow. What do you think of this, eh? Luxurious! Oh, we are big fans of rainbows! Now I know what you're thinking. How can he possibly top a double rainbow? Well, I have a little something on my sleeve that uh, might surprise you. Making the world a better place, one rainbow at a time. Triple rainbow! 
<laughs> Obnoxious, but consistent. Oh, you don't like it, Mary. Lacking in both skill and complexity. All right, all right. Admittedly, I didn't try very hard. I will throw this out. Oh, that's very good wine. I will be the artist I was always meant to be. The artist that hates Passepartout. Let's get to work. Here is the silly, green, pig-nosed Passepartout sitting on a throne of poop. And it's not even nice poop. It's poop with uh, little bits of corn and peas because it's not digested properly. And you see, it even has a smell lines because it's smelly poop. Passepartout's throne is a smelly throne of corny poop. <laughs> How you have watched hours of this content to make it to the finale, I genuinely don't know. Here we go, this uh, piece is called uh, The Corny Throne. <laughs> That's really gross, eh? What do you think, eh? Oh, a triumph! <laughs> Rainbows and poop, who'd have thought, eh? <laughs> if you liked my last piece, you're going to love this one. Here amongst the city and the uh, towers of bankers is a poopy tower. And as I mentioned before, it is made of the yucky kind of poop with uh, little bits of corn and peas. His stink pervades the city. I think you know whose tower. This is Passepartout and his smelly tower of poo. I call this one Passepartout Inc. There we go. That is a bold statement if I have ever seen one. Perhaps this will attract proper suitors, you say. Finally, I've found my place in the world creating poopy themed Passepartout art. I knew I was destined for greatness. <laughs> All right, Mary, you will love my next piece. Uh, this is one that takes place in a poopy abyss. As you can imagine, this cavern has uh, lots of peas and corn. <laughs> this is a disgusting video, I am very sorry. <laughs> Unless you're enjoying the poop-themed content, in which case, you're welcome. Like my friend Passepartout here, who you can see is happily at home in his poopy cavern. <laughs> There is his uh, poopy palette, and we cannot forget uh, the smell lines emanating from Passepartout and the poopy cavern. This is uh, quality content. No? <laughs> I call this home sweet home. All right, admiring patrons, my next piece is here. Oh, Benjamin, tell me, what do you think? This is just crap! <laughs> that is true, Benjamin! It is literally crap! Benjamin, you are the most intuitive coded character in a computer game I have ever known! It is crap, he has a point. What about Elizabeth? Is she here? Ask her what she thinks. It has everything you like in it. It has the corn and the peas and the detail. Untenable. Elizabeth! Perhaps the poopy theme has run its course. Perhaps we should move on to something a little more refined. Perhaps it is time to revisit our good friend, Benjamin. No? This next piece is of uh, a very popular theme, if you have seen Passepartout's pieces, but mine are a little different from his. There you go, here you have a Benjamin, and I call this Complexy Benjamin. Get it? Because he's not sexy Benjamin, he's complexity bit. Okay, that's a stretch. I, get it. I will just wait for some company and for someone to judge my hard work. Oh, Benjamin! Just in it for the cash? You would say that no matter what the painting was. He's very judgmental. Granted, the PC called crap was actually crap, but this is better. What do you think, milady? Elegant! Oh, thank you, Mary. Benjamin is a popular theme. Sexy or complexy. <laughs> Just because he was taken advantage of doesn't mean that he is the voice of reason for art. I don't have to make Benjamin happy to have integrity. In fact, one might argue that uh, Benjamin was the catalyst for Passepartout's mediocre art reaching the masses. Perhaps if he didn't want to be sold out so much, he shouldn't have been so sexy, eh? Yes, Benjamin, I'm talking about you. And this next piece, 
will shed light on the fact that you are not blameless in these escapades of Passpar 2. This is the wall you have built with Passpar 2 that blocks artists like me from actually reaching people. And on the other side of this wall of corruption stands Passpar 2, holding in his arms none other than Benjamin and his sexy face. That's right, Benjamin, I'm talking about you. I know you were in on it all along with your provocative clothing and large baguettes. Passepartout wasn't the only one to profit off of the Benjamin movie. Obviously, Benjamin himself had something to gain. You are not clean either. Your stripy French top is also smeared a little bit with the corny poo. <laughs> and you too have smell lines. Smelly Benjamin. Co-conspirators. I call this It Takes Two to Sell Out. There you go. Tell me what you think, eh? Henceforth, this is my favorite artist. Oh my god! 22,000 euros! Sacre bleu! I accept. Euphoria, your art makes customers completely euphoric. I'm a true artist. I make them feel the way I feel. I have created art with integrity, the likes of which the world has never seen before. That's for sure. Here I stand triumphant. My brush red with the passion which I have painted with and my palette full of all of the colors of the rainbow. And down here, off in the distance, long forgotten, is Passepartout, buried in his own pile of poop. And also in that pile of poop is Benjamin. And both of you are in the horizon, lost underneath a pile of corny, smelly poop. And I call this piece, True Art Wins. Wait. It's very dark colored. Whoa, it's... I guess that's the end! Epilogue! Oh, let's find out how the story goes, eh? 50 years later. Hey, look, these are all my artworks! Refine your craft, become one of the greats. That was French Jazz's motto! <laughs> People have doubted French Jazz along the way, and who wouldn't? Becoming one of the greats is no easy feat. However, Doubt should not stop great art from being made. That's true, because integrity is hard work, but I did it! French jazz have fought through trials and tribulations, just like the greats! French jazz have never gave up on the dream like the greats. French jazz is now one of those greats. They love me. They really love me. And my art has taken a place in people's hearts. There is, after all, a place for integrity in this world. Take that, Passepartout, you silly green sellout. I beat Passepartout. All right, in wrapping up, let me just uh, point out these two names. Matthias and Gustav are the two guys that I've chatted to in the course of making the Jazza mode in Passepartout. So a huge shout out to you guys and a thank you and everyone else who is a part of making this game. Just, you're awesome. You have my applause again after this second round of Passepartout. So let me, of course, encourage everyone to go check out this game. I'll put the link once again in the description. This is the the actual finale of our Passepartout story series and I feel like we have been a part of a very epic saga that is just is is so cool to have made with you guys. It feels weird that this is like wrapped up now. <laughs> and uh, not only did we not sell out, mostly we uh, we became one of the greats, and that's all we ever really wanted. The moral of the story is Passepartout is a sellout. Jazza is one of the greats, <laughs> and Benjamin sells. And on that note, I thought I would join in on selling out Benjamin one last time, ladies and gentlemen. I've seen a lot of requests through the course of all of these videos that I make either a sexy Benjamin shirt or a shirt that says obnoxious but consistent which has become a mantra. So as a huge thank you to you guys and to celebrate having gone through this incredible journey, I have made an obnoxious but consistent line of shirts and a sexy Benjamin design. Grab them while you can for a limited time are available these shirts. The whole sexy Benjamin story and saga has just become this really hilarious 
this fun thing. I've enjoyed your fan art that you guys have tweeted at me and I thought I'd invite you guys in on the opportunity to well and truly sell out Benjamin one last time. <laughs> the links to the designs are in the card and in the description. Otherwise, that is it for this video and this series. And I guess if there is any way to really wrap it up in a fashion that is truly spectacular, it better be big, obnoxious, and consistent. I would like to dedicate this dance mega mix to me, because I don't have to do this silly accent anymore. <laughs>